So I talk about something that often crops up um, with customers. They often ask which is the best performing, which plate makes the, the engine run fastest. And some people even say, oh, could I have a metal plate on the bottom of a solar one because that's going to work better. The answer is um, there's no difference really in performance and it's quite surprising when you think about it. So in terms of the thermal coefficient of uh, conductivity of the plates, they vary widely. So on these um, acrylic ones, you, you get 0.2, um, whereas on the copper ones, it's around about 400. It depends on uh, the room temperature and the, uh, the, the alloy and the contents of it. But it really does vary. So 0.2, 400, and aluminium tends to be about 190. So you'd expect a difference in performance by changing the plates, but that is not the case. And that's for a number of reasons. The first reason is you have bottlenecks in the actual engine itself. So, um, for example, say if we have a really good uh, copper plate here, it's able to conduct the heat from the top of the uh, from the bottom of the plate to the top. It then has to dispose of that heat internally in the engine. So it needs to use convection to get um, the air uh, into the air and then to the top plate. So they all have the same surface area and everything, so it all has the same issue with the convection there. So the, the performance of the heat going from the bottom and to the top of the plate isn't a bottleneck, there's other bottlenecks in the engine. So that's, that's one, one of the main reasons why changing the plates isn't going to make any difference. The other reason is the acrylic ones actually allow infrared heat to flow straight through the plastic. So, um, say if you're heating up with a light from underneath or sun from the top, the, the heat, the infrared heat just goes straight through, it radiates straight through, heats up the displacer, and it's not having to warm up the, um, the actual plate first, although some of the heat does actually warm up the plate. So you have that advantage with the, the solar one. That doesn't mean to say that it will run any better because, again, there are bottlenecks in the system that, uh, that mean it isn't going to run um, better in terms of performance overall. Some will start quicker than others. For example, the, the copper one's got more mass to it, so it'll take a little bit um, longer time to, to warm up. The, the aluminium ones, they're pretty good, but the solar ones, you know, you can, you can actually run them quicker because you can get the heat straight into them uh, straight away. So, yeah, that's a, that's a, a common question that get, gets asked by customers um, about to buy a product. Which plate is better? Um, the answer is there is no better plate. It's really you need to make a decision. Do you want one that runs off sunlight? If so, you need to go for one of the solar ones because they're optimized for, for to run on sunlight. Otherwise, you can pick the one that you want, whether it's an aluminium one, a copper one, or whatever. Yeah.